Hi, I'm John. And I'm Megan. And we're from Dragon Hall Academy. And today we're going to be reviewing giftedandtalented.com's math program, otherwise known as Redbird Math, and also used to be known as Stanford's EPGY Math Program. All right, so here we are at giftedandtalented.com, and now we'll let Megan walk you through the course from her perspective. Okay, just let me sign in first. First, I'm going to go to Challenge Zone and show you two games. In the Challenge Zone, there are 12 games and 37 problem activities. I played all the games. My favorites are Math Car, Math Car, Penguin Chill, and Asteroid Blast. Five penguins are on the iceberg. Choose one of these groups. So this is a subtraction game, right? So yeah. once you pick the nut fish, then a certain number of the penguins are going to swim and eat the fish. Get a hat for every and then penguin. there's going to be some number of penguins left. So you need to subtract the two numbers and get the right answer. Right. Now what happens if you get the wrong answer? Then they scratch their hat. So let's try that. So right now I picked a group of three and now there's only five penguins, but I'm going to pick four. One of the penguins was shivering because I only picked four. So he gave four hats, but there are five penguins, so one didn't have a hat, so he was cold. Yeah, so he was shivering. Mm -hmm. Like, <gasps> And now, asteroid blast. Okay, so what happens in this game, Megan? There is this number line, and you have to find the number that it says. And then you put the shield right there. Is it tough to drag things when you're little? I know when we made games, it was really tough getting kids to be able to drag. It's kind of hard, hey? Kind of. Okay. Now let's press activate shield. Asteroids rain down, and if you got it in the right spot, then you win. Yep. So what happens if you get it in the wrong spot? Then it crashes the... So why don't you try putting it in the wrong spot? get through and it damages your space station and just like penguin chill after you do a certain number of questions then the game ends and you either win or lose yes yeah yeah okay great let's get out of here okay and we'll just take a look at one of the activities or the problems just so you see how they work and so it's just kind of like a one page activity, right? Yeah. Okay, and there are, what did you say? 37 of them. Uh-huh. All right. Now, Megan, do you want to take us to the um, learning center? Yeah. Okay, so in the last couple of months, they upgraded from the old EPGY mathematics to this new Redbird math. And how do you like the new math, Megan? the new it's, math program. It's good. So what's different? That they changed the voice and the questions look different. 
Okay. So before there weren't, you know, nice pictures and stuff like that, right? Yeah. This is currently grade one or grade two? I think we moved you up to grade two because grade one was too easy, right? And all of the lesson screens are pretty much like this. Along the top, you have these circles and it shows you how far you are in the lesson, right? And so in this window, you have basically a setup for the question and then a question with a field for you to put an answer. Yeah. And most of the questions are like that, right? But in kind of different formats. Mm -hmm. So if you don't know how to read, then you can click on these little speaker icons and it'll read that section to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So another type of question are these multiple choice questions. And sometimes, not all the time, you'll get this little block tool to help you figure it out using blocks if you need it, right? Yeah. So can you show how, how, can you show the people? So Megan, can you show the people how to use the connecting cubes tool and explain what you're doing while you're doing it? Okay, so I'm adding a wine green one, wine green cube, one of the, and I'm using the green cubes to connect them together. I'm going to use the green cubes as the eight, and I'm going to take away two of them. So now you have a, a chain or a stick of eight blocks, right? Yes. Okay, now what are you going to do? I'm going to hammer it two apart. Okay, so now you see that the long chain is, uh, all, is in six and these two are away from the long chain of green cubes. Yeah. Yeah. And now I'm going to choose um, choose which addition problem that will help solve the subtraction problem up top. And now I'm checking in on my work because I'm already done, and it, it might say if I'm good, if I'm okay to go to the next one or not. Okay, so in this question, um, you're doing what they call addition facts, what we used to call in the old days addition. So why don't you just answer the questions, but let's get a question wrong on purpose so that um, people can see what happens when you get one wrong. Okay. Okay, so you got one wrong, so what does it tell you? Try again. Okay, and it puts that little... Question mark there. To tell you which one you got wrong. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so when you get something wrong, and then you get the right answer, this solution little button comes up, right? Yeah. So when, if you click on the solution button, then it's going to open another window and basically give you an explanation of what the correct answer is. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so each day you would have about this many questions mm -hmm. to go through? Yeah. So about nine questions. I think the aim is for it to take 15 to 20 minutes per day. Yeah. All right, so that is the Redbird Mathematics, the course section. Obviously, we can't run through every single question and every topic, um, but that gives you a good sample of the types of questions that they would ask and how to answer them and what kind of things you would be doing in the course, right? Yeah.
Now let's switch over to the parent side. All right, so this is the parent side of things and it's pretty basic. So there are the students and we only have Megan enrolled. Uh, we would see which courses she's enrolled in. And then if you click on the course, then you get some basic statistics about which days she did work on and how long she spent doing it. Uh, then there's some simple reporting, which shows the effort in minutes and then course performance here. The statistics are pretty basic. If there was one gripe I had about the gifted and talented service or software, it's that the stats and reports don't really live up to what I would expect. You know, being affiliated with Stanford, being in the middle of Silicon Valley, kind of the heart of Silicon Valley, there doesn't seem to be a lot of effort or thought put into the UX here. Uh, even simple things like, I'm, you know, I'm left guessing as to what this chart even means. So there are green bars, red bars. It's not explained what that actually is. I don't know why some are out of 18 and some are out of four. I mean, if I stare at it long enough, I can guess that these are the total number of questions attempted with the green being the correct, but you know, without any labels on the axes, without any explanation, a legend, it's really left to me to guess, which I don't think is good user experience. Also simple things being from the game development standpoint, I know it's being nitpicky, but you know, this graphic looks like something that you would put in for stand-in graphics. Um, it doesn't even look like it's a finalized graphic. So it's just simple things like that. As we talk in Dragon Hall Academy about craftsmanship, uh, these are kind of the things that we're talking about. Okay, and just a quick walkthrough on the pricing. So uh, the Gifted and Talented program has two different streams, if you will. One is tutor supported and one is independent study. We're only going to be reviewing the independent study because that's the only thing that we're doing. For Megan, who's in kindergarten, you know, we didn't really see the need for the tutor supported version. I think as, as she gets older and maybe gets into more difficult math subjects, then maybe the tutor supported version might make more sense. You can see here that most of the more advanced topics are in that stream. And here's the pricing for both streams. This side is, of course, the independent study. This side is the tutor supported. So now we've gone through the software, you've seen the different components of it, and now we're ready to give our review. So first we'll start with fun and replay value. Megan, what do you give it? I give it eight out of 10. Eight out of 10. And I'd say you use it pretty much five days a week, almost every day, right? And it's still pretty fun, it's not boring? Not boring. Cool. On the steaminess side, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Obviously, it hits mostly in the math and a little bit in the technology sections. But that's really, the only knock against it is that it doesn't attack any of the other areas. Otherwise, it would have been a 10 out of 10. I think it does a fantastic job of teaching math. All right, Megan, how about emotional connection? I would give it... I would give it 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. So it doesn't give a lot of opportunities for working together as a family, which we're big on at Dragon Hall Academy. And I don't know that it really creates an emotional connection between Megan and math. Do you get really excited about math if you use um, Stanford? Not a lot. No? But you do enjoy playing the games and doing the worksheets and learning new things. Okay. And finally, value. So our stream, the independent study stream, and we have both math and English together, comes out to $90 per quarter, which I think is pretty good value depending on what you're comparing it to. So we had looked at Kumon, I actually worked at Kumon, I'm pretty familiar with the Kumon program, 
and math only is going to run you maybe a hundred and a hundred or math only is going to run you hundred hundred and ten a month and then if you add English on top of that it's going to be another hundred dollars maybe uh, so in comparison to that we think that this is really good value so we would give the gifted and talented math program uh, 9 out of 10 for value. So overall we give <laughs> giftedandtalented.com's math program for gifted children an 8.5 out of 10. And if you liked our review, subscribe to our newsletter at dragonhallacademy.com. <laughs> <Dumb. laughs>